Hi, I'm Phyllis, and my website is southernfrugal.com. It's gotten a lot cooler at night here, and so I'm going to make a pound cake. Now, this is going to be a cream cheese pound cake, and I know in the past I have made uh, pound cakes, and some of, I think, the younger ladies have asked why I did not use any baking powder or baking soda. And for pound cakes, the reason is the eggs are the leavening, if you will. The eggs expanding is what gives the texture of a pound cake. So it's uh, loaded with fat and eggs and flour and sugar, okay? But we're making it. So, all right, let me turn this down a little bit so y'all can see now. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is put... Uh, eight ounces of cream cheese in our little mixing bowl here and we want all of these ingredients including the eggs at room temperature this is three sticks of butter and I do use salted butter so we're not going to add any more salt to the recipe that's three sticks and again you want those also at room temperature you also want your eggs, and it's going to take six of them, so you want those also at room temperature. And a real quick way to get them to room temperature is to break them out in a bowl and let them sit, you know, on the counter for a little while, and they'll get to room temperature. Anyway, so we're ready to start mixing this. I am going to use my KitchenAid for this. I'm going to dump also in this with the uh, butter and the cream cheese three cups of butter. I know y'all are having fits. Some of y'all that are on no sugar. It, it's going to take three cups, okay? Now, I've got my oven preheating to 325 degrees and I have greased a tube pan. Now, this is going to be a large pound cake and they, it, it really will freeze really, really well. So what I do is cut it up in slices and put it in one of those salad containers and we'd probably be eating on it for the next two months. But I did want sort of a plain pound cake. But anyway, you need to grease the uh, pound cake pan really well. And uh, I just don't think the spray thing that you, I think you're gonna have to use some shortening to do this. And also, after you've greased it really well, I don't know if y'all can see because that pan's white on the inside, you want to grease it really well and then you want to uh, dust it with flour all around. And the reason you do that is to make the outside crust of the uh, cake or pound cake, whatever you're using, it makes it soft and not crispy because if you just, if you don't use the flour in it, it's going to make that crust kind of crispy and you don't want that in a cake. All right, so we're ready to get started now. I'm going to cream my cream cheese butter and my uh, sugar. I'm just going to let that keep going. And uh, anyway, we're going to start putting the eggs in one at a time once this gets all creamed up together. All right, it's going to take a little while, so we'll be back maybe a couple of minutes, maybe longer. All right, this has been um, mixing here for about two minutes, maybe a little longer. So now the recipe is going to call for six eggs, and that's large eggs. So I'm going to try to dump these in one at a time. It's going to be difficult, but I think I can do it. Turn that up a little bit, and you want to uh, allow each egg to be inside this batter really well. Once you see it's pretty well gone, then time to dump another one in. I'll actually turn it up a little bit. Because it doesn't matter how much you feed it with the eggs and the uh, fat in there. Time for another one. There we go. I'm going to turn it down one notch. Now I've got the paddle for the uh, 
KitchenAid is the kind that scrapes the side of the bowl as it's beating everything. And I did order that um, through Amazon back when a, a, another viewer recommended it. And I'll have to say I mostly use that paddle. I har unless I'm beating egg whites, I hardly ever use the other paddle. All right, so we got three in. Let's go with another one now. And what we're uh, wanting to happen in this batter is for that sugar to get dissolved in the uh, eggs because of the liquid. That's what we're looking for. That's why it doesn't matter how long you beat this. Let me go with another one. And now we're ready for another one. That's all of them, six eggs. And again, the eggs expanding is what's going to cause the cake to rise. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to turn it down on low here, and I'm going to add two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Now we're just going to keep beating it. got one of those little uh, beaters that have the paddle on it to scrape the side of the bowl. It doesn't get all the way up to the top. So I'm going to scrape the top part down a little bit. Around the top of the bowl. All right, now the next thing I want to know is can I still feel some sugar in there? And the answer is just a teeny bit of sugar. I can still feel that's not dissolved. So we're going to beat it for a little longer. That's uh, enough beating. So now we're going to add three cups of flour, and I'm using white lily all-purpose flour. And I will leave this recipe down, down below in the show more section of the video. All right, now my flour is three cups. So what I did was I sifted the flour, then I measured three cups, then I sifted it again, just because we want a really good texture on this cake. So I'm going to add this now very slowly, because you don't want to beat it a whole lot once you've got the flour in there. So I've got it on the lowest setting. Adding a big heaping tablespoon at one time. Of course, we're going to scrape down the sides on this in a few minutes. scrape up from the bottom just to be sure everything got really mixed well and even if you dump it in the uh, cake pan and you still see a little bit of flour in there that won't hurt a thing it's going to be a really thick batter 
All right, we're going to mix it just a teeny bit more. This is very, very simple uh, pound cake to make, too, by the way. And that's it. That's all I'm going to beat it. I'm going to clean that off. We're ready to put it in our tube pan. This is a 10 inch tube pan, same one I use for everything when I make a pound cake or a tube cake. You know, now that we got a little cooler weather, it's time to start baking stuff in the oven for a change. All right, so this is going to cook. I'm trying to clean my hands off here. This is going to cook for uh, about an hour and uh, 15 minutes at 325 degrees. You want to check it then by inserting a toothpick in it and see if it comes out clean. All right, now everybody's uh, oven is different. Mine actually, I think, tends to cook slower. All right. Let me move y'all over so you can watch me put this in the pan. So hold on. All right, we're back. So we're ready to dump this in the pan. And it's going to be a very thick batter. You got a lot of fat in there, a lot of sugar, a lot of eggs. And again, you don't want to beat it a real long time after the flour has been added, but you can beat it as long as you want when it's just the butter and the eggs and the sugar. And again, for y'all that are new to making pound cakes, the thing that's going to give it the texture and all, a thick texture, which is what a pound cake is, is going to be because of the eggs. They're going to expand and make little air bubbles in this mixture. All right, so I'm going to smooth it out, and I'm just kind of jobbing down in there to see if there are any air bubbles. Now, after about an hour and 15 minutes, with, if you can do this without opening your oven, have a look at it. Like if you can look through the glass, if you've got that type of oven, which I think most of them are now, uh, you want to see if it's slightly pulling away from the side of the uh, pan. If it is, you want to look at it and maybe check it with a toothpick. If the toothpick comes out clean, the cake is done. Now I'm guessing in my oven this is probably going to take an hour and a half. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to take, so I'm not even going to check it until it's like an hour and a half. All right, y'all, when this gets done, we'll be back. We are going to put some icing on this. We'll be back. All right, we just took up the pound cake, and uh, I ended up having to put a little piece of uh, aluminum foil over it to keep it from getting too brown on the top. And you want to look for it pulling away from the sides of the pan. Stick a little toothpick in the middle there and see if it comes out clean. All right, so we're going to let this cool about 20 minutes in the pan. Then we're going to dump it out. Now I'm going to make some icing to go on this. So I'm going to move you all over to the other side. All right, so while the uh, cake is cooling, I'm going to go ahead and make a little icing. Now I've got two tablespoons or a little more of butter in the bottom of the pot. And I went ahead and put in uh, four ounces of cream cheese. And with the butter kind of hot there, it sort of helped, you know, melt somewhat the uh, cream cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and put in right at a spoonful of vanilla. And mix that up. I just took a dinner plate and turned it upside down 
put uh, the tin foil over it. And this is heavy duty tin foil. Just mashed it around so it fit right up on top of the cake to prevent it from getting too brown. All right. What I'm going to do is uh, melt this a little bit because it actually kind of got cool. And uh, then I'm going to put a couple of cups of confectionery sugar in there, mix it all up, and that'll be the icing. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right, I added about two cups of the uh, confectionery sugar. And uh, I had to, of course, do a little bit of heating up that cream cheese and butter and uh, just to get it uh, smooth. So this is really going to be more of a glaze on the cake than it really is an icing. I just call it all icing. So once that cake cools enough, we're going to put this on it and uh, then we'll show you what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and cut it. Mr. Becky and I are going to have a piece tonight. All right, y'all. Once that cake gets cool and I get it iced, we'll be back and show you what it looks like on the inside. All right, here's, here's what the cake looks like. Now, I went ahead and put that little glaze on it while the cake was still a little warm. It makes it go on easier. And uh, we're ready to cut the cake. And what I'm going to do is we're, we're going to have one piece tonight. And I'm going to slice them up, put pieces of wax paper in between the layers, and freeze them. All right, y'all, let me cut this up, and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. All right, there's what it looks like on the inside. It's very moist, and of course, it's still really warm, actually. There's what a piece looks like. And you see the dense texture is because it's a pound cake. There's what that side looks like. All right, y'all. We will see y'all next time. Bye for now. We're going to enjoy our cake.